this unusual dog relationship hack that will help turn your barking dog into a quiet dog. That's right, we're talking about barking today. And hi, if you don't know me, my name is Tracy from Beyond Obedience, and I have a passion for keeping dogs in the homes that love them by creating incredible bonds, incredible dogs. Now, I will preemptively say this barking or no barking hack is for dogs that are barking when you are present. There are two different scenarios of problem chronic barking. One is dogs that are barking when you're not home, and two is the dogs that are barking when you are at home. We're talking about when you're there. So if you have a chronic barker, listen up. Now, before I tell you this unusual hack, I'm gonna preemptively tell you a story as to why this works from the dog's perspective so you get an idea <laughs> before you call me crazy. So a few years ago, I used to run a dog daycare on my property and I lived on a horse farm. So we had horse field adjacent to our dog yard. And a fascinating observation I had whenever I had a new daycare dog who perhaps had never seen a horse, wasn't used to horses, or was just startled by the fact that there were ginormous animals on the other side of the fence, they would always bark and run to the fence line. What was fascinating to me was that all the other dogs in the playgroup, including my own dogs and regulars that have been coming for years, would always run to the fence line as well, including my own dogs who knew the horses very well. Some of them barked, but some of them just ran to the fence line. They always went to see what the other dog was barking at. And once they figured it out, they would turn and walk away and go back to playing. So the new dog would eventually look around, see that nobody else was bothered by the fact that there were ginormous animals in the field next to them, and they too would join the play. This happened every single time, every time. Not once was there ever a dog that hung back or just turned to the new dog and said, ah, oh, shut up, it's just a horse, you're being stupid. They always went and checked. Before I picked up on this ritual that was going on in front of me, I used to actually try to step in, correct the dog, tell them it's okay, no need to bark, all of those things that humans do, to which the dog would continue barking. However, when I just let the cycle go, let the dogs go and check it out and come back, stop barking. So here's the hack you know, if you don't have a pack of dogs to help you. If you have a dog that is barking at the window, barking at the fence line, charging at things, you need to go and actually see what your dog is barking at. Yes, actually get up, go see what it is that your dog is barking. Then I like to say, thank you. Thank you reminds us that the dog is actually doing a very pro-social thing. They're alerting the pack to a potential threat, but it's your job to check that threat and make sure it's not a threat and then say, thank you. Let's go do something else. If you don't check the threat, first of all, how do you know it's not a threat? And second of all, your dog is still gonna continue to alert you. You haven't checked out the threat. Now I know what you're thinking. Do I have to do this every single time? Maybe, for a while. Till your dog starts to trust that you actually know what you're talking about and you're not just dismissing them out of hand. Now listen, I've had a lot of people try this and say they were shocked at how well this actually worked. Are you going to give it a try? If you do, let me know what your thoughts about it in the comments. And hey, if you like these kind of relationship tips and hacks to help you build an incredible relationship and bond with your dog so that you don't have to rely on treats and tools and gadgets and stuff, then hit that like and the follow button because you, my dog loving friend, are way more than just a treat pouch. Cheers.